My name is Devora Tsipora, and this is my miracle story of Tzedakah. Most people are looking for a miracle in their lives that affect the physical, like health, parnosa, and shaduchim. When I became a Baal Teshuva, I was an interior decorator in Greenwich, Connecticut, one of the most affluent cities in the world, the home of the rich and famous. I had a Jewish client once who was a child of survivors of Auschwitz. She lived in a brand new $25 million stone mansion. One day I asked her to donate $100 to a yeshiva. Her answer to me was, everyone is always asking me for money. Sadly, I stayed quiet. Within three years, she passed away from cancer. Her husband went bankrupt and the mansion was sold for $5 million. From then on, my husband and I focus on our closeness to Hashem and living a Torah life. We tried every day to do all we could to become more and more spiritual and let Hashem take care of the physical. When Rabbi Reuven came to New York to do an event with Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi and Rabbi Alana Nava, we traveled an hour to be part of it. We also gave a large donation to Bizrat Hashem in support. We did witness many miracles in our lives after that event. But this year I had a miracle that was beyond my imagination that I know is connected to the miracles of tzedakah. This year, an old archive was found about my father's town showing all the tzedakah they gave. My father's Rebbe was a student of the Chofetz Chaim and the Rebbe riots. His name was Rabbi Chaim Lee Balgli. From 1925 till 1939, Rabbi Balgli collected tzedakah from the whole shtetl of 100 families every month and recorded it in a journal. All the money was sent to Rabbi Chaim Orzer Godzinski, who was the head of the Ad, the Ad HaYeshivot in Vilna and surrounding areas to support all the Yeshivot around Vilna. Rabbi Godzinski was a leading Torah figure and a student of the Volozhin Yeshiva. On the donor list is my grandfather and my great grandmother being amongst the highest donors. You might imagine that these people of whom most, mostly perished in the Holocaust were wealthy patrons, but on the contrary, they were among the poorest of the poor, just barely eking out a living to have food. As my father told me often, our family was rich because we had potatoes. Their houses were made of old wood boards, partly collapsing. There was no indoor plumbing, electricity, or heat. Where's the mir miracle, you may ask me? The miracle for me is being able to know who my grandparents were and how much they loved Hashem and the Torah. Since they were killed in the Holocaust, I never knew anything about them. My grandparents could not leave me any type of physical inheritance like money or property or even a will but they left me the greatest inheritance, their strong connection to Hashem and Torah, and a message to me as to what they cherished the most. By clinging to the Torah of my grandparents and following in their footsteps, I am able to know all about them, even though we never met. People often say to me, I'm sorry you did not have grandparents. But I always answer them, but I did have grandparents. And even though I never saw them, I knew who they were. I knew exactly how they lived. Also, all of us must acknowledge there is one more miracle we all witness, and that is the work of Bizrat Hashem, the unyielding devotion of Harav Reuven and all the people that help him. As quoted in The Duties of the Heart by Rabbi Bachia, a person's trust in God will enable him to turn his heart away from worldly concerns and devote it wholly to the ways of his service. Then is in his tranquility of soul, peace of mind, and diminished anxiety, he will be like the alchemist, one who knows how to turn silver into gold.
Harav Reuven is our alchemist who turns our spiritual deficiencies into miracles. Shana Tova, everyone. With Rosh Hashanah behind us, we only have a short time to appeal to Hashem to sweeten our judgment on Yom Kippur. The sages teach that a person that wants a longer life and greater blessings of Panasah should do their utmost to become a public benefactor of the Jewish people. Because since they chose to help Hashem's children, Hashem now gives them more tools to help, since now the Jewish people's merit helps that person. This means that the more you help Am Yisrael, the more life and money Hashem gives you. And this is the secret behind why you've heard so many miracle stories publicized by our donors over the last few weeks. Cures for cancer, a miraculous recovery of a pregnant woman in life danger situation. Huge financial success for one woman that donated the most she could at once, $650, only to get $12,000 two weeks later from Hashem. Another person took their small business from just a few hundred thousand dollars to making nearly five million dollars the next year. Marriage success, a barren woman for nearly 10 years having children, and the stories keep coming in. We simply don't have enough time to publicize all of them yet, but we will. These special stories, these special blessings were given to people who donated generously to our organization to help us help Am Yisrael. They chose to become public benefactors. During this holiday season, we're feeding over 10,000 Jewish people in Israel. We stretched ourselves to the highest extent because Am Yisrael needs a sweeter year than the one we all had. We're now asking you to stretch yourselves and join us by donating today and helping us help Am Yisrael. And let us all have more miracles and a sweeter judgment in heaven. Thank you and Gmach Hatimah